Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Well, fresh off the heels of our double rear frame rail replacement, it's now time to address the pans. And by pans, I mean the rear seat pan that's still left in there and also the trunk pan, which obviously there's no trunk pan in the car. Now my rear seat pan is still in the car. I won't say it's completely intact because there's obviously the wheelhouse sections are cut out. We've also got um, all of the spot welds, the factory spot welds, where the frame rails mount up at, those are all already completely cut out. The only thing really holding this in is the side structure here, which is those braces between the frame rails and inner rockers, and then also that V brace there, which has, I think, three or four um, factory spot welds. And so a couple minutes and we should be able to get this pan on the floor. I'm probably gonna cut the bulk of this out. We'll just cut it a little bit short here so that way I can take my time, preserve those uh, structural mounts and uh, slowly peel them off so that way I don't do any damage that, you know, obviously those parts are good, so we want them to stay on the car. Now, the rear seat pan, of course, my friends at AMB hooked me up awesome with the rear seat pan and also the trunk pan for this car. One of the things that I noticed right off the bat, I mean, obviously it's a beautiful work of art like everything else that they do, but it's a lot smaller than the Charger. So hopefully it goes faster, hopefully it's a little bit easier than the one for the Charger. but. Uh, but yeah, so it should be pretty straightforward. We're gonna get the other one cut out, get this new one test fit up in there, trace it out, drill it out, and weld it up. So let's get to work.
Alrighty you guys, so I've got my rear seat pan in place and unfortunately I have one major problem. Originally this video was going to be the rear seat pan plus the trunk pan install, but I'm completely out of welding gas. Doesn't happen very often even though I do weld a lot, I'm pretty conservative with it, but unfortunately I completely ran out doing the trunk pan and uh, T-Bone's been gone all week, I can't blame him. <laughs> but So yeah, just a quick sneak peek, the trunk pan is fit up. In the process now of drilling the holes, I was doing the repairs to the tail panel when I actually ran out of gas. So just a little sneak peek of what to expect in the next video. And actually in the next video, guys, I'm going to not only install the trunk pan, but I also have to fit every piece of sheet metal for the back half of the car. And I've got it all here in my garage right now. And the reason for that is that with this much stuff removed from the car, this tail panel is completely free from floating and I can actually lift this probably about two inches, and if I weld it in the wrong place, the quarters aren't gonna fit, the rear valance isn't gonna fit, the wheelhouses aren't gonna fit, everything else won't fit, okay? So in the next video, we're gonna have to go ahead and test fit the inner and outer wheelhouses, make sure those are where they need to be, get them screwed into place, the same with the rear quarters, and we're gonna position the tail panel so that way we can weld it permanently to the trunk pan once that's all done. So there is a process to this. I promise there's a method of my madness here. Okay, so, but that's uh, what's, what's gonna be upcoming here in the next video. To real quick recap everything for the rear seat pan and a couple little things that I want you guys to make sure that if you're doing this, you pay attention to, okay? So the first part, we got all the old uh, rear seat pan out. Went pretty easy. Thankfully, all the supporting pieces from the frame rail to the inner rocker, they're in great shape. They cleaned up very, very nice. The only parts that I did not weld in are these brackets on both sides. And the reason for that is that the uh, rear footwell panel, which I'll be installing in the next video as well, actually slips up underneath of this brace and it gets welded down. So we're going to wait to do that until we have those panels in place and then we can do it. Really not a big deal. So pulled the old pieces out, put the new one in there, traced it out, drilled it out. Everything went in just fine. Uh, the welds turned out nice. My seat belt holes lined up for the most part pretty good and then uh, ground all the welds down. Now, one thing that you may not have noticed and feel free to rewind to look at it, but the V-brace that's in the back here with this much metal pulled off the back of the car, okay? With those V-braces out, you know, there's really nothing supporting the back end of this car with the exception of the rear speaker shelf. And so what was happening is that that tail panel could actually lift up or down about 12 inches in total play, probably six up, six down, and kind of a scary thing. I didn't notice it till after I'd screwed in the V-brace to that uh, rear seat pan. And by that point, initially on the first fit up, my tail panel was like six inches high in the back and it kind of freaked me out. So I pulled the screws out, ended up using clamps to clamp down um, my tail panel to the trunk pan. So that way I know for sure that the fitment's gonna be good back there. I went ahead and very easily, um, very gently put the V-brace back down on the, uh, the rear seat pan. It actually lined up better um, with a lot more of the holes that I drilled out, um, the original spot weld holes. So got that all lined up, welded that in, ground it flush, and everything worked out really, really well, guys. So as I mentioned earlier, it's a lot smaller than the Charger. So it went by very, very fast. Um, they fit nice and tight up in the front here. So the wheelhouses should match up just fine. And then uh, just eyeballing it right now, guys, where, um, you know, where the trunk pan lays over the top of that. And then also with where this uh, tail panel is going to fit up in the back here, it's a pretty damn good fit. So I'm pretty stoked with it. And uh, yeah, it's really not too bad of a job, not too intimidating of a job, I hope, and I hope I made it look um, as easy as it actually is to do. So with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, and uh, I'm going to start the clock and wait a few days for the new gas to come in, and I will be back out here working on the back half of this car. Again, all the parts are here. I got the last of what I need from AMD today. The quarters are here. Everything is here to get this thing all completely fit up and to make it look like a complete car again. So can't wait. Can't wait to show you guys. Take care, guys. I'll see you real soon. Yeah.